Smile and learn. Hello, friends. Today we're going back in time to ancient Rome to learn about Roman numerals. Are you coming with? Let's go. Roman numerals are the numbering system that they used in the Roman Empire more than 2,000 years ago. But the origin of this system is even older. It comes from the civilization of the Etruscans, a group of people who lived in Tuscan Italy about 2,900 years ago. Incredible, right? The Etruscans created a numbering system using symbols and later the Romans were inspired by them to create a similar system. The Romans represented numbers by drawing them like sticks. This means they drew as many sticks as units they had to count. For example, the number 1 is represented by one stick. People think that using sticks to represent numbers started because the Romans used to count with their fingers. Just like when we were little. Now that we know the origin of Roman numerals, let's look at the letters that make up the Roman numeral system. The numbering system is made up of seven capital letters, and each letter has a numerical value. Let's see the value the Romans gave to each of the letters. The letter I has a value of 1. The letter V has a value of 5. The letter X has a value of 10. The letter L has a value of 50. The letter C has a value of 100. The letter D has a value of 500. And finally, the letter M has a value of 1000. What do you think? Is the numbering system that we use today the same as the Roman numbering system? No, of course not. In the ancient Roman Empire, the numbering system was additive. This means that each letter has a value and does not have place value. That is, values are represented by the sum of the symbols in the number. But then the system changed a little to also include subtraction and multiplication. Let's look at some examples to understand it better. In the Roman numbering system, Two letter X's represent the number 20. Since the letter X has a value of 10. So if we add two letter X's, it is like adding 10 plus 10. This is how we get number 20. Let's see an example of how we use subtraction. In Roman numerals, the letters I and V represented the number 4. Since the i is to the left of the v, we subtract its value from that of the v. The value of v is 5 and the value of i is 1. So we subtract 5 minus 1 to get the number 4. Today the numbering system we use is of Arabic origin. This is a place value system which means that the value of each digit depends on the place it has in the number. And today, we still use Roman numerals for some things. Let's have a look at what. We use Roman numerals in the names of kings and queens, like Queen Elizabeth II, we can also see Roman numerals in the names of sporting events, like the Olympic Games or the Super Bowl. 
People also use them to number the volumes or parts of some books. We can even see them on some clocks. Have you ever seen a clock with Roman numerals? Lots of old clocks have them. That's all for today, friends. Next time, I'll show you how to read and write Roman numerals. Don't miss it. See you soon. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.